How's it going everybody? This is Wash Graham from the Kickstation Support Discord and today we'll be talking about login pools. So inside TKS you can find login pools right here under the logins tab and basically what this feature is is a way for you to save all of your logins and passwords to all of the sites that we support in the bot that require a login to check out and we provide an easy way to, to toggle through all of these different sites and edit your logins as you go. Using the login pool feature in TKS is very simple. So let's say that you want to bot the site acronym. So you know that there is a login required on acronym. So you would go to the login pools tab, click acronym, and then enter in your username. In this case, it's an email. And then followed by a single colon with no spaces in between right here. And then put the password at the end. And this all makes up one line. So let's say you had a second login for this site. Uh, for example, if you want to run multiple tasks, you would just paste it immediately afterwards. And then for the number of logins you have, just separate each one by a single uh, line. So just hit enter after each one and enter them sequentially down the line. And once you're done with all of that, make sure to click save right here. This page doesn't give some sort of visual response when you hit save. So just to, be, to double check that you have them saved, click save and then click away and then double click the site to go back. This is something that a lot of users are confused about and you actually have to double click to see that. And as you can see, when I clicked away and clicked back, that my logins are still saved, which means I saved it correctly from the beginning. So we have some of our logins saved for the site acronym. So let's say that we wanna make some tasks now for the acronym site. So we would go here, scroll up, click acronym, and then type in whatever here, pick out your proxies, pick out your size breakdown, pick out your profile. And then right here for acronym, on this case, a login is 100% required. You can't actually run tasks on this site using TKS without a login. So for this case, the login options of yes or no are actually grayed out. You can't click on these at all. So for this, you'll see the L button next to the words account login. And from here, you can click and choose which exactly login you wanna use for the site. So I'm just gonna use the first one. So I click assign and then save this here and then we should be good to go. So then now you'll see that we have a task set up here and then if you go to edit tasks, you'll see that the login was saved there correctly. One important thing to keep in mind when you're creating tasks using the login feature with the L button is that if you make more than one task, let's say you make five tasks, then by default, they'll all have the same login. And if you wanna make sure that you have different logins on each of your tasks, you actually have to click edit for each task go back to the account login section and then reassign a different one and then click save again and then they should be switched and this might be changed in the future this video was made on uh, update uh, 0.93 so in the future if you're seeing this and this might not apply to you so the, I'll update it in the description if this is changed uh, by the time that uh, in the future when this video is already live so by now you should have a pretty good idea if you didn't already on how to use the login pool feature and it's pretty, very straightforward. All the sites have the exact same format. Just enter them one line at a time with a colon separating the username and the password. The only other thing to think about when using login pools is that when you're configuring your quick task settings, which we have a completely other video to talk about that, when, if you set up for a quick task for a site like acronym that requires login, when you make the quick task and click the quick task link, it'll automatically pull the logins that are associated with that site that are saved in the login pools tab. So if you don't have anything saved for that site, your quick tests are not gonna work correctly. So if you get an error on a site that requires login, you might wanna double check that you actually have your login saved on the login tab uh, before you start troubleshooting anything else. So that basically sums up login pools. As you can see, it's a very simple feature, but extremely useful to be able to configure all of your logins from one separate screen other than the task screen, which can get a little bit confusing or cluttered to new users. And that about sums up everything we have to say in this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to our support team in Discord or on Twitter or via email, and we'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But otherwise, that's everything I have today. So uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tune in next time for when we have more KickStation informational content.